Imagine you are managing a small sales team at a retail store and the sales team contains multiple team members and you can set a monthly sales target for each salesperson for instance each uh, team member is expected to sell 50 smartphones and 20 laptop per month so let's walk through odoo crm to see how to manage sales team and team members for that you can just get into the crm module and in the crm module uh, when you just go to the configuration settings you can enable the multi teams and that would allow you to assign sales person into multiple sales team you can enable that and you can also enable the leads as you enable the leads you can add qualifications to before the creation of an opportunity so once you enable multi teams and leads you can save the settings as you save the settings you would be able to see the leads in the dashboard and you can also manage the sales team from the configuration menu So in order to manage the sales team and team members it is very easy and you can choose the sales team over here. So here you can see the sales team which is already created by Odoo with all the details of sales team, alias, team members and company. And if you want to sort the sales team you can sort the sales team also and let's see how to create a new sales team. So here I'm going to create a new sales team with the name of the sales team as North America. and if you want to include this sales team in quotation and pipeline as well as in leads you can enable all the fields so as we know that a sales team will be leading with a team leader so here you can also add a team leader and it is also easy to add the team members as we know a sales team will be having a particular invoicing target and each members of the team should achieve that target So here you can set the invoicing target. So I'm going to set it as twenty five thousand as the monthly target of each members. And let me choose the team members in the sales team. So currently we have three members available. So you can choose all the members, or you can set the sales uh, team members. So here you can see these are the members that. contain in sales team and you can also set a team leader among them so let's choose michelle admin as a team member and you can also set an email alias so once a user makes an inquiry uh the sales team might, might be getting a lead or they can convert that mail into a lead so here let me set that afterwards you can save this okay so this mail is used by some other so here you can set any other email alias and finally you can view all the team members from here so this shows uh, the team members that included in each of the um sales team And now let's see how can we manage a sales team and team members in a lead. So for that you can just move on to the leads and here you can create a lead. So click on new button in order to create a new lead. So here I'm going to create a lead of a laptop and a smartphone. Here you can set the probability of the conversion of the lead. you can choose the customer so let the customer be any deliver as you choose the customer all other details will be automatically configured by odoo and you can also set the priority of the lead and finally we have uh the sales team and sales person so as you choose uh the sales team you can choose the sales person also from there so i have chosen here north america as a sales uh, team and they might be dealing with the product pricing of laptop and smartphone and from this sales person field you can choose the sales person who need to deal with the lead so let me choose mark the mo as the sales person and if you want to add any other field you can just click on add a property and that would let you to create or add some other field as per your requirement and afterwards you can also add the internal notes uh 
for this lead and if you want to set any other extra information you can also set that so let me save this lead and convert this into an opportunity so you can convert this into an opportunity uh, or you can merge with this it this with an existing opportunity so let me convert convert this into an opportunity with the salesperson as mark demo and sales team as north america and if you want to link this to the existing customer you can choose that or if this is a new customer uh, you can create a new customer or if you don't want to link to a customer you can choose a third option so the customer is anita oliver which is an existing customer so you can choose the option as link to the existing customer and finally click on create opportunity and this lead will be converting to an opportunity now if you want to create a quotation for this you can just click on new quotation and this would allow you to create a quotation by adding the product uh, in the invoice so if you want to add any um, product like laptop or smartphone you can add that so let me add laptop as the product and you can set the quantity as well as price so let me uh, set the price of this laptop as afterwards you can just move on to the leads i mean uh, to the new and we need a certain quantity of laptop and you can set the quantity that you want and set the price over here afterwards you can just confirm this and you can make the delivery also by setting the quantities and validate the process and if you want to create the invoice for this you can create the invoice also so let me create a regular invoice for this uh, by confirming the invoice the invoice will be moving from its draft state to the past state now you can just back to the quotations uh, i mean you can just go to the uh, product pricing of laptop and smartphone and here you would be able to see the price of the product and if you want to view this lead under the pipeline you can view it as we have enabled uh, the pipeline uh, in the uh, team sales team so as you move on to my pipeline uh, when you just remove the filtrations you would be able to see uh, the product pricing of laptop and smartphone over here and as you have enabled the quotations uh, you can also create quotations which we have done and uh, um, yeah here you can also view the uh, team members and team leaders who has uh, 10 with the lead and this is a um, team that we have uh, dealt with and these are the team members in the team and if you want to view you can view that and let's back and if you want to view the sales team of the the lead that we have created you can view that also so you can see uh, under mark demo uh, as he was a salesperson uh, the number of sales that he has done is shown here so uh, if you want to any assign any other lead you can just click on assign lead and you can directly assign lead so if you want to get the pipeline from the sales team you can just get that from the teams uh, so here you can see all the teams that have currently created so we are working with the team north america and you can see one opportunity is there and you can also get the pipeline so when you just click on the pipeline you can see the pipeline of the team uh, which is of product pricing of laptop and smartphone over here and let's back to the team and uh, here you can see one uh, is i mean one opportunity is to create and you can get all the uh, things so as you give the expected revenue the expected revenue will be reflected there so let me set the expected revenue and all other details and uh, if you want to give the recurrency of that you can also set that so let me uh, give it as expected revenue uh, yeah 500 amount uh, i mean the first amount with the second amount and you can also uh, set the recurrency over here and you can also set a probability over there so once you save this and just move back to the opportunities uh, which means uh, move back to the teams you can see the amount that is going to affect and here you can see the invoice invoicing target is uh, 25k so let's use the opportunity again and let's create a quotation for that so currently we have zero quotations under this so if you have any quotation uh, or if you want to create any new quotation uh, which belongs to this 
theme you can just create it directly so you can just choose a customer and let me choose uh, the product laptop and here uh, you can set the quantity so i'm setting the quantity as one and let me confirm this so as i confirm this the uh, the quotation will be moving from the quotation state to the sale order and when you just back to the uh, sales team here you can see there is one to invoice okay so if you want to make an invoice for this quotation you can choose that one to invoice and uh, you can create an invoice for this so in order to create invoice you have to set the quantities and uh, we have to validate the process which means we have to deliver the product to the customer so here you can see the product will be moving from its source location to the uh, customer side and uh, let's create the invoice for this so you can just cl click on create invoice and you can choose the invoicing over there remove the tax first yeah now let's save this and let me create an invoice so here you can see uh, we have just created an invoice and you can confirm the invoice so as you confirm the invoice the invoice will be moving from its draft state to the posture state so you can create the payment by choosing the journal and all so uh, we have made the payment and let's back to the sale order and here you can see as many as invoices which is completely invoiced and when you just back to the teams here you can see the targeted amount as well as the invoicing amount which is the total revenue gained by the north america team so this is how we manage with the sales team and team members in odoo 16 crm module so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video